Hey guys, I'm shooting this incredibly impromptu video, and yes, it's on my iPhone. I didn't feel like taking the time to flip it horizontal and do it landscape and worry about where I was looking. I just had to come in here because I'm obviously dressed for my workout and I'm getting ready to get my Friday afternoon workout in. I've got five minutes before I said I was gonna work out so that I can get showered and we've got date night tonight, but I had this, this aha moment, and if you guys have been following me on YouTube for a while, you know, first of all, I'm just getting back to YouTube videos. It's good to hear from so many of you. Um, but if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've certainly had no shortage of aha moments over the past six, seven, well, when did I start YouTubing? 2009, so it's been 10 years. Um, and I'm 50 now, I've gone through hormonal imbalance, I'm still, going through the middle of hormonal issues. I'm in the midst of menopause. Um, I'm age 50, so I certainly have no shortage of hormone issues going on still. I don't wanna say that those are solved, but I, I do wanna share what I feel is, <laughs> it's a simple but really important aha moment I had recently. And I don't know what it was that, that had, had me kind of pontificating, if you will, on the fact that, you know, I was feeling good about myself. I've lost weight this year. Um, I'm gonna write a whole blog post on what I did to jumpstart because last year I had a really bad experience. Um, I was following advice and guidance by somebody who I think is incredibly talented and knowledgeable, but it was going against what I felt was gonna work for my body and I kept going with it and going with it. And ultimately it was not working for my body and I was gaining weight and I was getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And it was the worst feeling ever. None of my clothes in my closet fit me. Um, the last six months of last year were, were really difficult from a health perspective. I was very frustrated. So I was determined to turn the corner in January and make some changes and start trusting my gut. And I decided to only work with my doctor, only listen to him, and we got off on, on a good foot. But I find myself recently, or I have found myself recently, in the same position that I've been in many times over the past 10 years, and that's this. I, I realize that I can sometimes get to a point where I need to lose weight or I wanna lose weight, and I, I get 75% of the way towards what my goal is. Maybe it's 60%, maybe it's 80%. But I get, I see a good amount of results and then I unconsciously get a little bit too cocky and I stop tracking my food. I start trusting that, oh, well, I know what I'm eating, I'm good. And maybe it's not necessarily that I let my workouts go, that's usually not the problem. But I know I always get to this point where I'm like, I don't know, it's usually some, you know usually what causes the aha moments is putting on a certain item of clothing or maybe it's packing for a trip and trying on my bikini and thinking, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel so much better in this. And then I put it on and I'm like, I'm still not confident. And then I get that moment of going, why am I still here? Like I put so much energy and money into bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, supplements, organic food, cooking, all of that. Why would I not, why would I spend all this time, all these years, all this research, and not ultimately be to the place where I'm in a maintenance mode, but I'm still at the place where I'm almost there. And I just had this time this week and I got upset and I'm like, I feel like I've been perpetually almost there for years and years and years. You know, I get really going and then I backslide and then I get really going and then I backslide a little bit. And then I course correct and then I backslide a little bit. And yes, I do have to take into consideration a lot of other stuff has had an impact. But you know what really hit me? And I, I have to drive this home for so many of you because I really, really think this is so simple, but I think it's true for so many of us, particularly those of us that have been working out for a while. Maybe you're past the age of 35, 40, 50. Um, you have hormonal issues and so on and so forth. Um, I just was realizing how much I'd been, you know, over trusting myself to get my macros, um, to, to eat on point. I knew I was low on protein. I knew I was probably winging it with carbs too much. And you know, if you're not getting where you wanna go with fat loss, 
there's probably a 50% or 75% chance that your nutrition is off in some way. Maybe you're eating too much, maybe you're eating too much junk food, maybe you're not eating enough, maybe it's a combination of all the above. So I started tracking my macros and something hit me just today that I um, Instagrammed about. And it was just this uh, non-bread, N-A-A-N, and I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, and it's stuff that we've kept in our refrigerator because we've been making this um, Zata bread, and it's a spice. It's, a, it's like a Lebanese, Middle Eastern spice. Z-A apostrophe, I hope I'm saying that right. A-T-A-R, Zatar. And then you can make this Zatar bread or Zata bread, depending on how you pronounce it or who says it. Anyway, we've been keeping this in the refrigerator and sometimes when Steve and I would be cooking in the kitchen, you know, it would be between meals and we hadn't eaten. And I'm always realizing one of my problems is not eating enough. And when I'm training hard, if I'm not eating enough, that can be just as bad for your cortisol. So I would go, well, let's just, you know, have a snack. And for, I'm avoiding cheese and crackers because I'm avoiding dairy. So we'd pull something like that out. And I remember I had looked at the caloric information and it had said serving size and it was 190 calories. I automatically had assumed that a whole piece of non bread was 190 calories. So I would typically have half. And in my head, I'm like, I'm having 100 calories. Well, I pulled it out today because I was measuring out what I was doing, excuse me, what I was eating and recording it in my fitness pal. And it said half of a non was 190 calories. And literally my face was like, oh my God. And just this one little piece of food, people, this one little item of food, this realization about this one piece of food, it just made me understand so clearly how one little thing, and it doesn't have to be just one piece of food. You could apply this to coffee drinks. You can apply this to fruit. If you have one or two things where, first of all, if you're not tracking and you don't know what your macros are, Suddenly something like that where you make a mistake several times. I looked, I, then I looked closely at the, at the calories and the macros and it actually showed that the, um, the serving size was half and each serving had 30 carbs. So a full piece of bread was 60 carbs. And I'm certain there were times when we were just having, you know, appetizers or whatever that I had a full piece of bread. 60 carbs in one serving. If you are on a you know low carb day and you're only supposed to be having, maybe it's 70 carbs that day, maybe it's 90 carbs, maybe it's 120 carbs, whatever your macro plan is, that's a lot of carbs for something that number one, doesn't fill you up, number two is a snack, and number three, what if you have carbs at all the rest of your meals and maybe you didn't count that? Same thing goes with stuff like protein bars or a cliff bar, granola bar, energy bar, or coffee, or an energy drink like a Red Bull here and there. That stuff has sugar, it has carbs, and typically what's going to help most of us lean out, lose fat, is to watch the carbs and increase the protein. And with just one little piece of food, I realized, holy hell. And the more that I consider my behavior, I have not been tracking my macros in my fitness pal. I have been more trusting myself and going, you know, I've got this, I'm balancing this. I know without a doubt, I have been way low on protein and way high on carbs. And why am I smiling as I'm telling you that? Number one, it's, it pisses me off because you realize you wasted time. But number two, people, here's the deal. When you realize you've effed up so much, that's when you should get excited. And that's what should make you track all of your food every single day with like this relentless dedication. Because if you're putting your hands around your waist and going, oh, I still don't like this area, that's me. Like, I still don't like this area. You wanna get rid of it? That's how you get rid of it. The devil's in the details. I'm so tired of being that person that for five years has been talking about, oh, I'm almost there. Oh, I still want to lose just 10 more pounds. I said that last year. I said that six months ago. I said that nine months ago. I'm tired of being that person. And you know what? The only thing between me and that success is the details. Share with me in the comments below if this is something that is hitting home with you. If you realize that you have not been tracking your details, you can be eating people, let me just close with this, you can be eating the healthiest foods in the world. You can be limiting alcohol to one day a week. You can be um, having all organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, yada, yada, yada. You can still prevent yourself from losing weight and you can still even gain weight by eating too much of all good foods. 
I'm certain that if your average unhealthy person was watching what I ate, they'd be like, if she can't lose weight on that kind of food, then screw it, I'm not even gonna try. Because I, I'm telling you, the, the stuff that I eat is healthy, it's organic, it's passion, it's paleo, for, not that piece of bread, but you get what I'm saying. If you are not tracking your macros and your percentages for your fitness goals, that's probably what's keeping you up. Yes, other things come into play, overtraining and undereating, um, hormonal issues, not taking your supplements, getting enough rest, all of that stuff. This is something that can be a game changer for so many and I had to share it with you. And I said I was gonna vlog for five minutes and I went for 10, but that's it. Make sure you guys are subscribed over at kellyalexa.com. I have just started blogging again. Um, I hope you see that I am back. Um, I have made some huge changes. There's gonna be some big announcements next week, uh, but I am, I'm excited to be back, talking about a lot of stuff. I have a lot to update you on. And um, let me know what questions you have about this. Let me know where you think that you have been um, eating extra and not tracking it, and you're realizing now as you hear me that this is probably what's been adding up and preventing you from success. Let me know in the comments below. Certainly, um, make sure you're subscribed here. Follow me, all of the uh, information is down below in the comments as well, so you can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Pinterest, follow me on Yelp, follow me everywhere, and I will see you guys here soon.